Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will discuss briefly the takeoff v-speeds. Here I'm gonna give you the basics that help you understand what they are and how they're determined and then used during takeoff run and initial climb. The speeds I'm gonna discuss are AD, V1, VR and V2. So let's see the meaning of each one. I want to let you first listen to this flight crew call out interaction recorded during takeoff run. First set. Eighty knots. Check. Eighty one. Rotate. Eighty two. Let's see now how these uh, V speeds are used. During takeoff run, we can distinguish between three phases, which can be designated as low speed, transition to high speed, and high speed. The three phases can be defined as follow. From takeoff roll start position to a point where the airplane will reach the airspeed of 80 knots, this is considered as a low speed phase. Speed acceleration through 80 knots to V1 is considered as a transition to high speed phase. Then the high speed phase will start at V1. Each phase will determine the way the pilots will manage the takeoff, go or no go decision making. Let's see this in more details. During the low speed phase, the pilot can abort the takeoff for any type of failure or malfunction. At 80 knots, the indicated speeds in both BFDs are cross-checked, so the pilot non-flying will monitor the speed and call out 80 knots when the speed is shown in his PFD. Then the pilot flying will check if his speed agree, and if it does, he will call out checked. As the airplane accelerate through the 80 knots, the pilots will monitor for any critical failure such as an engine failure or fire detection. Here the takeoff can be aborted only for critical failures. Any minor failures that won't affect the flight safety are ignored. At high speed phase which starts at V1, the takeoff rejection is no longer an option, regardless of any critical failure. That's why at V1, pilots must take their hand away from the throttles to avoid inadvertent retarding of throttles. So as the airplane accelerates V1, the pilot non-flying will call out V1 when V1 is reached on his PFD. Then the pilot flying will take his hand from the throttles and be prepared to rotate. Pilot non-flying will call rotate when VR is reached or shown on his PFD. The pilot flying will initiate the rotation by applying a back pressure on his yoke or joystick to pitch up the nose after which the airplane leaves the ground. As the airplane leaves the ground, an initial pitch attitude is maintained to let the airplane accelerate toward a minimum predetermined safe speed called V2. This V2 speed allows the airplane to continue safely its climb if an engine fails during this critical phase while the aircraft is still close to the ground. Now let's see how V speeds are calculated. Here I'm gonna give you an idea on where to find the V speeds, but for a complete takeoff performance ground preparation, this will be covered in other tutorial. Now I'm gonna walk you through a different ways which can be used to determine the takeoff V speeds, and this also depends on the aircraft add-ons we are using. Takeoff V speeds can be determined using the takeoff performance tables. After deciding what flaps we're gonna use, then looking at V speeds corresponding our current airplane takeoff gross weight. This performance table is commonly known as the basic way that you can use to select your takeoff V speeds. Other way to determine the takeoff V speeds is by using Topcat software. You can also use your FMC takeoff page to select your takeoff V speeds. And in some cases, such as uh, the Quality Wings RJ, you will find your V speeds ready on the speeds card 
as you can see here and you don't need to do any calculation here the values are automatically displayed and updated and ready to use and this complete this video thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial